Hey family, it's your sister Adriana Janae and I am back with another quick word. Well, not really quick. Um, Holy Spirit. There you go. Holy Spirit um, has been pressing on me lately and has been like kind of hinting that that he is wanting me to become um, more transparent and sharing my story, sharing my journey, sharing my testimony. Um, and he has me sharing a little bit with you guys today. Um, this is the first time I've really ever talked about this <laughs> outside of the people who were like, you know, around during that time. Um, so yeah, um, I had a dream last night and in the dream, um, I was in a car and I was in the car and I was with people, um, and they were like helping me. They were like, they were helping me and they were like, they were helping me and they were making sure like, they were make, they were taking care of me. Like they were making sure that I survived. And I was living in my car and they were like, they were just helping me. They were like, just like little hacks to just make sure like my phone would be charged or they were just like, they were helping me, right? And then one of them said, imagine going through this not knowing God. Oh, I'm like, ooh. They said, imagine going through this not knowing God, right? And then I woke up. And this morning during um, church prayer, um, a young lady said, you know, she was talking about the book in um, the book of Joshua. And she was saying, and I read that I've read this so many times, y'all. And it's so just many times, y'all. And it just hit because I feel the shift. Like I feel like God is moving and he's moving now. Like I feel it, right? And she said something that I read all the time in Joshua about how they were crossing over and the Lord had them each tribe get a stone and create an altar. You know, from where they the point that they were at before they crossed over into their promised land. And the title of this video is going to be create, create an altar now, create an altar, create an altar. And it's so funny because God gave me that dream and then he used her to confirm that God is calling, that God was calling me to create an altar now. God was calling me to create an altar from where he, to, to, to stamp where he brought me from to, as a reminder, when I go into where he's calling me to, Right. And I woke up and I needed the Lord to like to reveal what that was about, right? Um, so y'all, me and my daughter, we lived in this car, right? We slept in this car and lived in this car for about three weeks. Um, three weeks until someone I did not know. Um, I stumbled into a church. Or I not even stumbled. The Holy Spirit led me to a church. And they they took care of me and my daughter. Like, they put us in a hotel. They made sure that we ate. Like, they took complete strangers. Complete strangers, right? Um, but all that to say, like, we were homeless, right? And God was showing me that in the dream, the people that were around me in the car who were sitting with me, because they were in the car with me and they were just sitting with me and they were helping and they me. were helping me and they were like, they were, you know, taking care of me. Right. And God told me, he was like, those were your angels, right? Those were the angels that I sent to guard you. Those were the angels that I sent to protect you. Right. And then the one that said, cause when I tell y'all, I was Y'all, he's not having me get into full details. Like that is coming at another time where I can really sit down and give y'all the full scope. But y'all, when I tell y'all, during that time, I was so divinely protected. It's I can't even put it into words. Like I couldn't even fear. One for like my faith was so like it still is, but like God gave me this just like this this spark in my faith that could not be scared and could not fear even if I wanted to. And I know that it did not come from my own strength. Like it can't, God grew my mustard seed. I just knew that I was so divinely protected. Even one night of us sleeping, sleeping in an empty parking lot. 
an empty parking lot in a foreign city. Like I did not know this place from Adam, right? And how particular, and a car in the middle of a huge empty parking lot, y'all. And when I tell you, I felt the presence of his angels around me. Like I felt, oh, And he told me, he showed me that in that dream, he was just confirming like you were really guarded and you were really protected by angels. Never been or never been in a situation like that and just had just certain instincts, right? And that was just showing, showing like those were, he, he, those were his angels assisting me in like making sure that we survived. Making sure that we survived, right? And when... The angel in the dream said, imagine if you did not know God. Imagine going through this and not knowing God. And as I left the store and I was pondering on that and I just kept rehearsing that over and over in my head. It's like I could not imagine what I would have gone through in that time not knowing God. Not knowing and granted, that all stemmed from me taking a huge leap of faith on the Lord and his instruction and what I heard from him and acting on it urgently, right? And I was guarded and I was protected by my salvation. I was secured and I was, my God, at peace because of my salvation in the Lord, because I, because I know the Lord. I didn't lose my mind in that moment or in that time. I did not lose my faith in that time. I did not lose my 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 just st- my firmness and my stance in the Lord in that time because of my salvation because I knew who my God was. I knew who my God was and I knew he would carry me out. He told me he would and he did it. Y'all, my God. Y'all create an altar create an altar as we are crossing over create an altar sit with the lord and just sit with the lord and really go over the things that he has brought you out of in this season because what god is taking you into is just oh so grand man it's just so big and it will be so easy to forget where you came from and what he brought you out of and i just encourage you to create an altar right here right now create an altar out from where god has brought you from sit with your father and get like let today be a day of gratitude let today be a day of remembrance let a th- today be a day of pondering like I was in a situation where naturally I could not see my way out, but God, but God, I kept my sanity because of God. I kept my peace because of God. I did not fold. I did not not give up because of who my father was to me in that time, because of how faithful he was, because of how good he was. Because of how loving he was, because he reassured me, because he affirmed me, because he let me know he was with me, because he let his presence not only be spiritually felt, but naturally felt. Y'all, I was in the most danger outside looking in. I was in dangerous situations and not an ounce of fear, not an ounce. I look back at how bold I was in that time, how confident I was in that time. And I always go back like that is my altar. I always go back to that every time I feel low in in faith, every time I feel low in spirit, every time I feel like I don't know how I'm going to get out. Every time I feel like, God, are you there with me? Are you here? Like, are you really going to do this? Are you really with with me, God? I go back. I go back to that. I go back to that. I go back to that. I go, y'all, I'm 10 toes for the Lord, okay? Like, I done seen something. I done witnessed the goodness of God. Do you hear me? I've witnessed with my own 
eyes the goodness of God with my own like this is not something somebody told me this is not something that my parents told me this is not something that I witnessed from somebody else's life I've seen it with my own eyes and my own life how he kept me and my baby how he provided how he continues to y'all I can't be loyal to anybody but him I can't out like I can't be more loyal to be him. more loyal to anybody else but him. I can't. When I look back uh, <laughs> from all he's brought me through. Thank God. Thank God. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. When I didn't know God, ooh, when I did not know y'all, create an altar, create an altar, because you're crossing over, you're crossing over, say, ooh, baby, boko, lili, shababakalada, create an altar, create an altar, y'all, remind yourself of where you came from, what you've been through, what he's brought you out of, how good he's been. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, create an altar, create an altar, create an altar. Y'all, I just, I have been through so much with this car. Like, I would be very heartbroken and sad if the Lord had me give this car up because this is literally my sanctuary. This is my prayer closet. This car is so anointed. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, this car is truly anointed. Like, the blood of Jesus flows through this vehicle, okay? Like, that's why I do so many. Like, this is, like, come on. This is it. <laughs> this, like, granted that, you know, I got a dream car or whatever, but I can't get rid of this. I cannot. Like, God... He knows my, I will if he leads me to, but it would definitely not be on my own wheel. Like this car is so truly anointed. Uh, this is my altar. This is my altar. My God, create an altar. I love you.